I'll come back home. So imagine say you want to build a very large application, and of course, if you don't start today, use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you could work well on top of these small, small machines or laptop. People say your RAM is slow, but what if you feel code for the cloud? What if you feel write code on top of any old laptop, slow laptop, but it could it fly, it could it go well? You get the one way they don't make, what they call Git pod. If you come Git pod IO, you go see this screen for here. And what they do is say they give us a VS code in the cloud. They give us a whole VS code instance. If you use ARM for your browser, you'll get a full VS code environment, including your terminal self, a good day for the cloud. So I mean, if you're not don't watch my previous video. I've got no hint to know about this kind of thing before. So uh, if you check the pricing set, make I explain the pricing given now. Let's come to pricing. The pricing just means say, you'll feel user for like 50 hours every month. You're gonna get 50 hours standard. Uh, you also get some kind of other things for the pay as you go if you start to pay for pay as you go or otherwise you could just contact them but yeah normally this 50 hours is they decent for what we want to uh, build right how will they run now make a show now because gitpod they use github to they launch our uh, application so you go use our repository code you go come launch our application for cloud and just like that we it's just like say we get a whole computer but it's the cloud all right so we're going to sign in with github here yeah? All right, and this is say it don't sign up. It is to say this is not my dashboard. Well, of course, I don't run build something and this is not old project. Say if they even check members, if they when you don't they do teams and all that, if they check your usage. So like me now we don't they run I'm already this 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 month, uh where I've been they build the other application, I guess already usage record don't count. The way you go take run and say you go need to set up a new workspace. And once you click on this new workspace, you go see say it gives you all these options. Number one, they say you go first need select your repository where you go like work with and then go of course select the editor where you like work with so you see all these editors where you like where we feel work with so then at this one we won't use the vs code for the browser so if you look here also you're going to notice say it talk standard for here so this standard if you click on because you say it get two types you get the standard and you get the large the standard now just four cores and then uh, we get eight gig ram and 30 gig storage my machine that time when i start when i've been try run react or something like that the laptop on the slow on the slow on the slow you know if it go well so when you started to go for react and next.js and angular and all those kind of frameworks you say they, they chop your ram like this you go need all these kind of tools but me i always like this the standard because i mean this eight gig ram is a day very well for me so make try run up on top of the 8 gig ram and then you go just come here come click the repository for this select repository if you just click this um, project for here luma which now it will go build eventually one day on top of the next year's project and uh, what we will do be say uh, i know go click here because i always like the maybe one day i go like use the standard large size so i will just leave it like this and then we we'll just click continue now this will help me connect into my github accounts and help me pull that repository put them on a vs code come run the vs code on top of a terminal for me for here so Make we see him. It go take a while make it load. Confirm. So you see, this is now a whole VS Code project where we work on for here. If you look at this project, this is not just like our usual VS Code. I don't even customize them to my own liking. I don't put everything one one put inside now. If you put the just like the normal VS Code search, if you run them, if you even run your terminal, which now this one we use for here. So everything just they work just like we could do for our VS Code, right? Now, if you look for here, if you install extensions which are one of the most important things for vs code where i like and if you look here you can see say most of these extensions then be popular extensions then be extensions will be need but i want to make you know say these extensions not be the same extensions with the vs code uh the reason why i talk like that is say if you look the names of the people who even build the extension you go see say of course this is not tailwind you know if you get one rating star so this one they build now specifically for this vs code where they run on top of the cloud this is not very important thing so which means some of the extensions where they find uh for vs code if you don't find them for this vs code version all right but nobody say you know get oh i mean this is not basically waiting most of us they need that they even get much more so nobody say uh, any of the popular ones you want if they use python i make we see if python day if they use uh yeah you receive so python if they use uh, go and all any extension way they use way they popular for vs code um, i guarantee you it could suppose they even here now whenever you run a project with this uh git pod what you go do be say it will help you create a git pod.yaml file and this git pod.yaml file or dot yml file it they help us they set up the devops or how the site could they build itself so then uh, this one not to worry about this one because you're not even going to touch for here all you need to know say now just come here use the site 
as you want and if you make your commits anytime so if you come git if you commit this code up to uh your repo so that you could always get this um, file built every time inside your code but the idea we say it just they help us they set up pnpm install and they help us they run pnpm run build so which not just our initial build so this one a git pod nine setup and uh, not to worry about them i just want to explain what we see for this so make we clean this terminal for here make me fire around because being able to run a terminal in the browser now wasting bust my head for this thing make i just say i want to run pnpm I which now to install so this will help me install the dependencies all right with pnpm and you see as it fast it does the wrong quick quick for here yeah it no matter about the version of pnpm i feel update them anytime i want but just like this it don't install all the dependencies all of them it don't set them lots of files all these things the next js so post css react or tailwind type it don't arrange all of them for me so make we try see whether the um server go even run so make you say pnpm and we want not run dev so if you run dev or if you just type pnpm them and i go press enter for here this go fire my next.js application on a server so if i come here you can see this option say if you open preview or if you open for browser so i can just click next.js go come kick in and then it could come build so you can see this is not the next.js project but we will build very soon on top maybe our uh, my first course where i will first build for now so that i can feel understand how on a few build modern uh, websites or modern web development with uh, react on top next js all right so the way we could run and we say we could build this application and we feel even run down for the cloud because it's not very nice application where you get some kind of um, re very reactive components and we go build them on top next years all right it did also very very responsive so i hope say by the time this course comes out say we now go really learn a lot for this course i did very happy about them although it's still a work in progress and uh, i just want to show una this project we did for here so so you can see with just these little things we don't they get our working environment and of course if we want to make changes to the code so make i just find uh something where it fits with the next 13 for here and uh, no worry if you don't understand all these things for here i'm going to explain this one given now very soon when we uh when this course comes out so i you just add a hashtag here if you save them it will save the code it will run it will compile our next js application again and it will save them to the client so make we check the client and they see we get this as so live reload hot reload everything they work on top of this application like this simply because they use git pod so like this like this anywhere where i carry this browser now my vs code anything i do with this browser now my vs code so now very interesting thing i hope say uh on go don't see uh lead 18 or two and i hope say this video could not help one of now with or some of now we don't struggle with getting a you know powerful laptop and think say because you know get powerful laptop you know if you could not lie you get this free powerful um ide where did the cloud maybe say if you use them for 16 gig ram or 8 gig ram i mean waiting again you need and it's free so if you run them i hope say you really like them if now they like all these kind of videos make gonna let me know make we drop more videos for now so that on go see say web development now for everybody so i will see you now for the next video Wow, wow, wow.